The chaos struck at 9 a.m. He doesn't know yet. Over 100 high school football coaches filled the Region 7 building in Kilgore. The realignment ruckus looked like a scene right off Wall Street. Following the initial shock, it was time for the hard part. I love you. I know. I love you. It gets old trying to find ball games, but uh, you know we'll just keep keep working at it. Now we're scrambling for a zero and a one, or a zero and a two week. So I think we're going to get it worked out. We're only a couple of months away from spring football, but there were big shakeups for East Texas high school football at the realignment announcement. Reaction from the coaches? We got mixed reviews. I'm a little shocked at the district that we're in. Um, it's a little different than what, what was predicted. We got thrown into a pretty big district. I'm just glad it's done. Longview jumps back up to 5A, taking the place of John Tyler in a district with lead in several Mesquite schools. You know, we've been there before, you know, and uh, we're excited about it and we're looking forward to it. Several schools dropped. Henderson, Lindell, and Maybank all heading down to 3A. We're excited to, to drop. We were nervous as we could be. Um, because for the last few years, we've been right on the bubble. And some small schools became smaller. Former 3A's Mineola, Eustis, and Tatum will turn into 2A programs. It's going to be a very competitive district. Aside from the reclassification, the realignment of District 16 3A drew some attention. You know, I don't know that I've ever seen so many state champions on one schedule. Carthage has won two. We won two. Pittsburgh went to the semifinals last year. Wow, just crazy. Taking what they're given, coaches will have to do what they know how to do best. And you do a zero. Start on a game plan. In Kilgore, Greg County, Julie Morales, KYTX, CBS 19. Coaches, kids, parents, and fans of every high school sport were on the edge this morning. It was realignment day as the UIL released the state's new athletic districts based on school enrollment. Now keep an eye on the ticker at the bottom of the screen to see where your school landed now let's check out this mad scene at the Region 7 Center in Kilgore this morning. It looked like the New York Stock Exchange as coaches from all over East Texas are trying to fill their new football schedules. It was a good day for some, a bad day for others. One of the biggest moves comes in Tyler. For the first time ever, the John Tyler Lions have dropped from the state's largest class of 5A. JT is now in Class 4A. Here's the Lions' new district, which means they'll no longer be with city rival Robert E. Lee. The two teams will play again next year, but it will not be for district bragging rights. It's not going to take anything uh, away from it. It's still a robbery uh, game. You know, our kids going to get up for it, and their kids going to get up for it too. So it definitely uh, won't take anything away from that game. We, we kind of thought we were going to uh, be 4A, but we didn't know for sure. So uh, today just kind of uh, sealed the deal, so to speak. Now, as John Tyler was moving down, the Longview Lobos were moving on up. In fact, the Lobos replaced the Lions in their 5A district, so Longview will once again share a district with Robert E. Lee. The Lobos had moved down to 4A for just two years. They reached the state championship both times. Longview Athletic Director Pat Collins wasn't surprised, but said the move will definitely affect the budget. Now, here's other East Texas schools on the move. Lindale and Henderson are moving from 4A to 3A. Mineola and Tatum are dropping from 3A to 2A. Now, Henderson didn't get any favors from the UIL. The Lions will join state champions Gilmer and Carthage, as well as Pittsburgh, Gladewater, and Spring Hill. We're calling it the District of Doom. You know, uh, we knew we were probably going to move down. But, you know, when you throw Gilmer and Carthage, two state champions in there, and you have Pittsburgh in there, who's a semifinalist, it's just going to be a, you know, it's going to be a tough district. It'll be fun for these Texans, but, you know, people need to be realistic. I mean, that's a tough schedule. I don't know if our kids can hold up every weekend and weekend. I don't know if anybody can to that schedule. Now, for a complete.